Hello, Times Cryptic, let's go. Party passionate about current venture initially, requiring many workers. No. Priest captivated by churchgoers, saintly memorial. Main sentence identifying cormorant, for example. Yeah, this is seabird. So main is C, sentence is bird, as in jail sentence, and then a seabird is an example, or a cormorant is an example of a seabird. Primate, one replacing duke in cricket ground, this is loris. A loris is a primate, a primate, the cricket ground is lords. And one replacing D, the abbreviation for Duke, gives Loris. Singer, a large youth overcome by drink. Nope. Young rogue backing game with companion taking part. Well, I want this to be urchin. Because I think an urchin could be a young rogue. Backing game, well, RU is short for rugby union, so that fits with backing game. Yeah, with companion, CH is short for companion of honour, so can be a companion. And taking part is in, if you're in on something, you're taking part in it. Priest. Captivated by churchgoers, saintly memorial. This is relic. Priest is Eli, a biblical priest. Captivated by churchgoers. Well, RC is short for Roman Catholic. So Eli in RC gives relic, which is a saintly memorial. Party. Well, that could be Labour. There is a political party called the Labour Party in the United Kingdom. Passionate about current venture initially. Requiring many workers. Well, labour intensive fits the definition and the number of letters. Passionate about. Passionate is intense. About current. I, the electrical symbol for current. And venture initially is the initial letter of venture. Fantastic. Always good to get the long ones in. Singer. A large, well, yes, I think this is balladeer. So a balladeer is a singer. A is A, large is L, the clothing abbreviation. Youth is lad, overcome by drink, overcome by beer. Shabby sounding carriage. Yeah, this is mean. Mien or mean is carriage. And shabby and sounding is a homophone indicator. So shabby is M E A N, and that sounds like M I E N. Time to tie up outside club, securing old vessel. Well, I'm thinking to tie up is some reference to mooring. But I'm not getting the rest. Swiss hero absorbing a tirade over a lively dance. This is Tarantella. So the Swiss hero is Tell, as in the William Tell overture and shooting the apple off the boy's head with a bow and arrow. But how does the rest of the word play work? OK, tell is the initial T of Tarantella plus L, absorbing or including A, A, to tirade, rant, over A, which is the final A, and then a Tarantella is a lively dance. So it doesn't begin to... It doesn't begin more. Old vessel. I wonder if this could be motor. 
something, if it is, six down begins with R, right to retain the last word about one's clothing. Yep, this is raiment. Right is RT, the abbreviation, to retain or keep the last word. Well, the last word is Amen, about one's, about I, and raiment is clothing. Prelude, written in fortnight, going west. Surely intro, an intro is a prelude. Yeah, and this is a hidden clue. We only get one of these by convention in the Times Daily Cryptic. So within the word fortnight, starting with the I and reading backwards, we can read I-N-T-R-O. And going west means you start from the east and you go west. So reading from right to left. Support from beneath, subject to identification. This looks like it could begin under. So underpin means support from beneath. Subject to is under and identification is PIN, as in PIN number, personal identification number. Warning given by small number touring Oklahoma. Is token a warning? I think it, I think it, is correct in the context of this clue. Small number is 10. Touring Oklahoma, well, OK is the abbreviation for Oklahoma. I'm just unsure that token means warning. Perhaps when something foretokens something, it warns of it. But I think if we can get the K and N corroborated, then it will be correct. Fourth right, open university man accepting special post. This is outspoken. So outspoken means fourth right. Open university is OU, the abbreviation. Man is Ken, just a man's name. Accepting special, S, the abbreviation. And post. OK, let me restart this. So outspoken does mean forthright. Open university is OU, man is Ken. And then special is an anagram indicator for post. So it's an anagram of post inside OU Ken. Old Icelandic character appearing personally, a constant irritation. This is Thorn. In, well, I was going to say one's side. I wonder if it's thorn in the flesh. But an old Icelandic character is a thorn, just as in a letter of the Icelandic alphabet. Appearing personally is in the flesh, and thorn in the flesh is a constant irritation. Time. Well... I think this is going to be motorboat. It fits the letter pattern. Time could be T for time. To tie up outside, well, to moor outside, outside of T. Club is bat, securing old, securing O, the abbreviation for old. And then a motorboat is a vessel. Fantastic. Aggressive man in church, trapping female bird. Wow. Well, yes, I wonder if this is bullfinch. Aggressive man, I think is bull. In is in, church is ch the abbreviation trapping female trapping f the abbreviation for female and a bullfinch is a bird frenzied italian brought up in country mostly well i wonder if this is frantic 
and it is. Frantic is frenzied. Italian is IT, the abbreviation, brought up or reversed. In country, mostly, in most of France. Here, possibly, bawdy, round. Gosh, not getting that. A lot of people I originally found in a mountainous region. This is massive. A lot of people is a mass. I is I. Originally found is the original letter of found. And then a massive is a mountainous region. Drunkard pinching a bishop's footwear. This is sabot. Drunkard, drunkard is sot. Pinching a, a, bishop, b, the chess abbreviation. And a sabot is a type of footwear worn by saboteurs. Here, possibly, yeah, this is a double definition. If you catch something, you hear it. So here, possibly, is one definition. And a catch is also a bawdy round. I simply know it as a type of singing. And a round can be a type of singing as well. I'm very confident this is right. Fit to be lived in by husband having a few talents. This is habitable. So habitable, habitable means fit to be lived in. Husband is H, the abbreviation. Having a few talents is a bit able. A graduate in education, retired possibly, this is a bed. A is A, graduate in education is B ed, short for bachelor of or in education. And then a bed means in bed. And when you retire, you go to bed. Caught in hospital department and ticked off. Hospital department is almost always ENT for ear, nose and throat. So, how does the rest work? Caught is usually C, the cricketing abbreviation. Well, not getting the rest of that. Retired a woman concealing worry about written work. No. Boring type, carrying articles for old animal minder. No. Experience, discrimination. This is taste, to double definition again. To taste something is to experience it, and discrimination is taste as in, well, as in preferring one thing to another. Pressing news outlets to probe unusual item. Yeah, this is immediate. So immediate means pressing. News outlets are media to probe or to be inside of. Unusual item. Unusual is an anagram indicator for item. U.S. composer's endless ambition to produce close harmony. Yeah, surely barbershop. So U.S. composer is barber. U.S. composer apostrophe S is barber apostrophe S without the apostrophe. Ambition is hope, so endless ambition is hop. And then barbershop is close harmony because you have barbershop quartets which sing in close harmony. Now let me pause here and do my typo check. I always do it just before the end because if I completely finish before doing it, I may do it too quickly. Yeah, everything looks good so far. Now, does this P help? Caught, surely entrapped. So, not the cricketing definition, but the, de not the cricketing abbreviation, but the definition. Entrapped means caught. Hospital department is ENT. 
and ticked off is rapped, as in criticised being given a rap on the knuckles. Many initially help engaging a good physio. Well, M, many initially is M, assist, help is assist. I'm just wondering about this as a word, massagist versus masseur or masseuse. But many initially is M, help is assist, engaging A, A, good, G, the abbreviation for good. So a massagist must be a physio. So, three clues to go. Shrub, ambassador introduced to new padre. Well, new looks like an anagram indicator for padre. Ambassador is usually H-E, short for his, his excellency, which is how you address an ambassador. Yeah, and ephedra is... H-E inside an anagram of Padre and must be a shrub. I certainly recognise it as a valid Scrabble word. So, two clues to go. Boring type. Carrying articles for old animal minder. Surely neat herd. So, yeah, boring type is nerd. Carrying articles, carrying A and the indefinite and definite articles in grammar and a neat herd similar to a shepherd or a goat herd is somebody who looks after neat and neat is an old word for cattle great one clue to go retired woman concealing worry about written work the retired woman could be Di, reversed, D-I, short for Diana, just a woman's name. Concealing worry. Worry is usually eat. But we've got this A here. This I here, rather. Which is part of a word I wasn't sure of. 17 minutes down. Concealing worry about written work. Well, if it was eat, I-T-A-E-D isn't a word, let alone a written work. Aha. Uh -huh. But the Iliad is a written work and worry is ale. So there we go. Every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray, no errors. Fantastic. Wow, what a beautiful puzzle. Absolutely great fun and tremendous variety of general knowledge and vocabulary required. So super fun, as always, from the times. I think the snitch for that probably in the in the 70s. Now, the times is the hardest daily cryptic puzzle published in the world, and I'm delighted to be able to showcase it on the channel. But it is not the hardest published cryptic crossword. So just to give you a vague idea of the, the landscape of cryptic crosswords, you have all of the daily cryptic crosswords published in various publications, and the hardest of those is the Times. But the next step up in terms of difficulty is probably the Mephisto puzzle, which I featured a couple of times on the channel to celebrate special occasions. And I also have regularly as a Patreon video and that's the next one up from the Times. And it's a bit of a, a Pons Asinorum. A lot of people, when they get good at doing the Times or similar puzzles, step up to the Mephisto and hit a brick wall and think that probably their level is lower down. But I would urge anybody in that category to have another go at, at the Mephisto. Because I think one reason you get good at crosswords up to the level of the Times is that you get really good at go and getting the answer from the definition alone and you either ignore the wordplay or you just use the wordplay to confirm the answer that you've got from the definition well what you find when you go up to the mephisto is that there are a lot more words which are outside your vocabulary and therefore you have to place a lot more reliance on the wordplay 
and making that adjustment initially slows you down a lot but you find as you put a bit of effort into or a bit of practice with the Mephisto that you simply become better at the word play bit and that enables you to solve the Mephisto and it also helps you solve the the regular puzzles like the times even faster so that's the next one up from the times the Mephisto in my mind the next one up from the Mephisto is the AZ published in the Observer which is available online but you can't solve it online you can find it and download it and solve it with pen and paper but you can't actually solve it online but I regard that as the next one up from the Mephisto but I don't think there's a huge gap between the two and possibly the reason for the AZ being harder is well I think probably even more obscure vocabulary and perhaps the surface reading is is better but it's been a while since I've solved the AZ so it may well be that the the Mephisto and the AZ now are very similar however head and shoulders above the AZ as the most monstrous brutal plain cryptic crossword published is the Times monthly club special and it's available not in the paper version but just online to the Times crossword club members and it is brutal. I've attempted it two or three times or three or four times and a couple of times I've managed to solve it in about an hour with either no mistakes or one mistake and I I thought I would mark the occasion of 3,000 subscribers by solving a recent one and it was it was hopeless. I After an hour I had only about two-thirds of the clues solved and I had hit a brick wall so I gave up and that video will not be seeing the light of day but that's that's the hierarchy of cryptic crossword puzzles that are published and then outside of published puzzles you then have the crossword club and the magpie magazine which both also publish very difficult crosswords but those are probably moving more into the arena of novelty cryptic crosswords rather than plain ones about about which more next week anyway i hope you enjoyed today's solve like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time